usually after my talk on how to build things or things which i'm building it's quite normal and it's quite usual that a question is asked to me uh, about ai my reply to that is what about ai and i was in a similar kind of situation in roughly about 14 years back and people used to ask me about cloud well you know and i said that well do it so talk or debate should be on applying ai not about ai it would be enormous disservice that with the explosion of compute decrease in cost of compute literal thinking and normal democratic thinking of using computer science in almost every other discipline domain and industry and in this context debating ai doesn't make sense applying ai discussing examples of applying ai making industrialization simpler faster economical making lives better inventing things quickly discovering use cases on a day to day basis on a week to week basis realizing those use cases in a month's time we should talk about that and that would be an interesting conversation and that would be an interesting debate so as an example i'm i'm just going to take examples which as a philosophy which i have seen and i have built since i code and i fly aircraft so why don't we start from there as i said debate should be on applying ai not an ai the debate ai then there is something we are missing either we are convinced and we are very happy to be in a zone of legacy we don't want to make a progress we just want to debate for the sake of debate so let's take first example let's take an aircraft use machine learning simple machine learning to make this aircraft and it's surrounding ecosystem more intelligent this is actually a diagram which actual diagram which actually runs an aircraft and if you look at this particular diagram it fundamentally looks like a network of any enterprise any good enterprise with all kinds of entities in this you have lan you have van you have twlu you have satellites you have satcom you have servers you have switches you have gateways and a lot of time we actually miss when we talk about machine learning per se that we can do tremendous amount of intelligent coding by using machine learning in the realms of infrastructure and if that infrastructure has to be as perfect as that of a network within an aircraft look how amazing that code will do a service to this whole ecosystem of aviation if i expand this this network into various touch points then it becomes far more amazing and the value of data suddenly comes into force so there is no excuse towards the success of machine learning because success of machine learning or any code in relation to ai requires a lot of data a lot of data not only to learn but all to also to justify investments in algorithm and in conversion of that algorithm into code this gives you and each of these each of these lines which are there whether it is light deck crew services wireless maintenance gate connectivity at a supply chain of parts an operating center of flight schedule how to track them and then the whole health of an aircraft if you actually look at this this itself is you're talking about an ocean of data and still very few lines of code has been written in this domain and much more can be done so let's stop debating ai and let's start building use cases and writing code now i'm going to take this into a overall domain of an industry since i understand aviation reasonably well i'm going to bring multiple technology and the power of distributed computing imagine if airlines mros regulators government they all come together on a blockchain or on any distributed platform i don't care but if they all come together and somewhere using smart contracts or any other node to node connectivity in distributed computing they're able to interact just think the amount of value it will bring on the table just to give you a glimpse for an airline to open a station it takes months sometimes year of preparation several documents and i'm not talking about 10 or 15 or 20 several documents and agreements are written most of those agreements are mundane in nature that means in any case they are pretty much a standard in any case if an airline has to interact with the ground services 
in a different country to open a different station or to ministry of civil aviation infrastructure provider or to a regulator most of these agreements are standard template but still it takes months and sometimes years to open a station now think close your eyes and think that you are in an environment where distributed computing is there each node symbolizes a particular entity each of these nodes are trading partners airlines mros government regulators airports and without much human interaction they can do trade and if that is possible just think ml sitting on this distributed computing and telling airports how to enhance and optimize the capacity of their airports telling airlines which stations can be profitable stations which route can be profitable telling governments how can they maximize their revenue and patterns of revenue based upon seasons making maintenance auto visible to mros so that they know what should be their inventory levels where this inventory should be used for which kind of aircraft by which airline at what airports just imagine that when we combine computing with machine learning enormous amount of value can be created enormous amount of value can be created and that should be the intent that should be the debate now let's take this model to a country level and that's all i wanted to share and i hope some of it will make sense and even if we may live for next few quarters in a constraint of cash my hope is that we will not live in a constraint of culture culture of creativity thank you very much for listening to me